This tutorial is going to show you how to make a basic button using fireworks which can be then inserted into Dreamweaver. First of all you'll have to log into the portal like you, you should already know how to do this if you've read the other video. I'm just going to quickly log in. Full screen. Now, as I've said, the program that we're going to be using is Fireworks. So let's go start programs, Macromedia, and Fireworks. So it'll take a couple of seconds to load up, and here we go. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new file so that we can create create our button. So create new Fireworks file. Now, the canvas size doesn't matter at the moment, so we just click OK. I'll explain that in a second. So, just click OK. And this is our drawing canvas here. All this white is where we can draw our button. So, I'm going to quickly make a, a dead simple button, um, maybe with a little graphic on it as well. So, we've got all our tools on the left hand side. I'm going to make a and use a rectangle shape because our button is going to be a rectangle shape. Okay, So we've got our basic rectangle, I've just drawn it out and at the bottom we can then select the background colour, uh, if it's round or not, how transparent it is and maybe a line colour around the outside and the thickness of that. Loads and loads of different options. Okay, So for now I'm just going to do a really really basic one. Just a solid colour and I'm going to give it blue let's say and I'm going to make it a little bit round around the edges okay as, as you can see now it's square I want to make it a little rounded so rectangle roundness now the higher the number the more rounded it'll be so let's just say 40 so I'll type this in 40 you can see it's now rounded off me now I want to put some text on so that the person using this button will know what it's for so I'm just going to say it's going to be the home page. So I'll click the A, which is the text tool, and then I'm going to type home. Now as you can see, once I'm clicked on that, I can then change the font. Let's just choose a dead random one. Uh, got loads of different options here. That will do for now. And I want to change the size of it, make it a little bit bigger. Say about 30. I'm going to bold it so it stands out a little bit. Now it's not too great that on the blue background, so I'm going to maybe change the colour to white so it stands out a little bit better. Okay. Now you can preview your button at any time just to see how it will look. So if we go File, Preview in Browser, and then Preview in iExplore. And that's our button at the moment. Okay. Now, obviously, it's not too great. We've not got a lot of stuff on there, so we want to add a little graphic, maybe. So now I've got Internet Explorer open. Add a new tab, and I'm going to search for maybe a little home icon or something like that. So let's just type home icon. Let's see what we can find. So yeah, I think this one will be okay here. So I want this white house to go on my button, so I'm going to just right click on it, copy, and I'm going to go back to fireworks, and I'm going to paste it. Now obviously, I don't want this black background, so to get rid of the background, we can use the magic wand tool in the top left hand, towards the top left here, magic wand tool. So I've selected that, and you'll see now I get this wand icon. So I click anywhere on the black, it will now select all of the black and I can literally just press delete on the keyboard and we can see there it's taken most of it out so I can now resize it a little bit change it to scale, click on the scale tool here I can now add that down a little bit oh. 
there like so. Now I also want to resize it a little bit more, it's still a bit too big. Mm. There you go. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm just kind of rushing this. Now what I want to do, I want to change this to an actual button now, because when we hover over it, we want it to be able to change a colour so that the user knows that they're on the button. So what you do, you make sure you've got the black arrow selected and just draw around it as if you... Okay. And then we need to right click again. We need to convert to symbol. Now you've got three options, graphic, animation or button. Obviously we're going to go for button and then just click OK. Now to edit the properties of this, we can then double click on it and we're now into the button. Now the up state means how it looks before anything's clicked on it or hovered over. The over state means when you hover over the button. Now we can see that there's nothing in the over state at the moment. Okay? And what you do is just copy up the graphic like so. So now we've got an up state and an over state. But we want to make this over state slightly different from the up state so it looks like something's changing when we hover over it. So the simplest way to do this is just to click on the button and we change the colour slightly maybe to a light blue. Okay. Now that's what I'm going to do for this tutorial because I don't want to go on too long. I'm sure you'll be able to find other ways to make it a little bit more interactive than that. But just click done for now. And the final thing we need to do is fit the canvas. Now you'll notice when you select this the fit canvas option isn't there. If you just click on the grey away on the outside of your canvas the fit canvas button appears. Yep, see? Yep. Gone. Click on the grey. It's now back. And what that does is it trims all of the canvas just to the correct size. That's why we don't have to bother re uh, setting the size at the start. And then next, make sure you file, save. And because we created our web website folder in the previous tutorial, we need to go to your area, creative area media folder, unit 211, website, and we can just save it in here. And a good label to call it is home underscore btn, which stands for button. Just helps you when you're looking for things in your folder. And save. Okay, now just to finally test that this works, we can then file, preview, in Intel Explorer. Now because we've already got this open, we should, I say should, be able to just refresh this page. No, it's not working. So you should. Let's just close it all down. File. Preview in browser. And let's see if our button works now. So there it is. Button. Blue. And if we hover over it, it should change. And it does. We can see that changes to the lighter blue. Okay. And that's all for this tutorial.